what is up guys welcome back to the channel and this is not a casino you guys know what we're here for i give you the guarantee pro wrestling coverage talking about casino though you guys know what went down tonight and that is at the aew double or nothing pay-per-view we got a couple of surprises a brand new superstars being added into the aew roster and a lot of amazing matches in what was uh, what i think aew's uh, best pay-per-view in over a year so with that being said let's go ahead and talk all about it and run down what went down at AEW Double or Nothing. Before we get into it though, you guys already know, make sure to have those notifications turned on to continue being up to date and consider subscribing to both of our channel for more wrestling content. To start off and getting my general thoughts out of the way in regards to this pay-per-view, as I said, one of the best in over a year for AEW, just from top to bottom, from beginning to end, being a really good consistent pay-per-view. Sure, there were some negatives with some matches being longer than expected and probably of what we wanted but for the most part it delivered and i would definitely mention this later but i love the fact that they focus on a lot of the young talents that they know are already over with the crowd like orange cassidy darby allen and even sammy guevara closing up the show this specific pay-per-view really felt like AEW was going all out now that the audience is back to let them know that they're going to be focused focusing on these young talents it's honestly amazing how good this pay-per-view ended up being even though there was only one title change but we did got a couple of other shockers and let's get those out of the way for the casino battle royal we of course knew that we were going to be getting a surprise and that it was probably going to be a brand new signing to aew that ended up being leo rush we don't know the specific of his contract just yet but he ended up being that big surprise and this man is busy right now he is the man of the the hour doing a lot of wwe 2k22 motion captures continuing to make an impact on the indie scenes showing up on new japan pro wrestling and now on aew the other big signing was mark henry they did indicate it though that mark henry is going to be an analyst for the new show aew rampage that's going to be happening on fridays starting this year in august so once again the randy orton curse continues every single time somebody has uh, an interaction with randy orton he is the one that takes them out of wwe and they end up getting sent to aew at this point i'm really wondering how much randy orton is getting paid by tony khan this is so much of a coincidence that you could come up with a million conspiracy theories on it right now right on top of my head on the list so far we got uh, matt hardy the big show christian and now mark henry again all of which randy orton either ends up taking taking out or driving them off television on raw and then they all end up being on aew just a couple of months after and getting into that recap for the show for the buying we had a heck of a match to start off the night with serena d defeating riho you cannot mess with that tequila sunrise and we kind of felt that it was coming towards the end so serena continued to be a dominant force on aew and honestly i continue to enjoy watching her wrestle because she is just so good in the ring you could just see that she is such a veteran for the main card things started off with hangman adam page defeating brian cage the ending sequence of this match was pretty good a lot of back and forths even brian cage doing the buckshot lariat hangman page finisher and hangman page are doing the same thing and doing brian cage finisher in the end interference caused cage the match as the rest of the members of team Taz tried to help out brian cage but brian cage didn't want the help so that in itself was a distraction in which hangman page took advantage and pick up the victory we had the young bucks defeating john moxley and eddie kingston in the match that i feel like it was the best match of the night or at least it's in contender for the best match of the night with the co-main event the triple threat matchup listen i'm a mark for good tag team wrestling this was awesome of course it's the young bucks they're gonna go out there and give her their all and then it's john moxley and eddie kingston who actually got some really good chemistry as a tag team it's almost like they team years ago right wow imagine that yes it's because it's true this is a great back and forth matchup a lot of near falls the young bucks as he are finally getting to that next level they even taunted the crowd a little bit as we had matt jackson doing the roman reigns and alongside nick doing the shield post as they were fighting it off against john moxley so that was great of course they had to mock wwe in one of their main pay-per-view 
news. What you thought it was gonna happen is the Young Bucks. At this point, I think they just do it to make the fans irritated. The ones that do get irritated about it. I don't even think they do it to make fun of WWE. Again, though, in this match, at the end, we had the Young Bucks picking up the victory. And there was some interference of the Good Brothers. For the Casino Battle Royal, we had the surprise of Leo Rush, who got eliminated by the private party. It all ended up being Matt Hardy versus a Christian versus Jungle Boy. And trust me, the crowd was over. That's another young talent that I actually forgot to mention at the beginning. Because again, he was one of the main focus of the night. And I love that AEW did that. Christian eliminated Matt Hardy. Then he fights it out against a Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy actually gets the victory. But Christian did good here because he was the first one to enter the Rumble. And still went into the finals. The crowd was of course going wild for Jungle Boy to win. And Christian even gave his approval at the end. And then we got the break match. It was Cody Rhodes versus Anthony Agogo. One on one competition. And man Cody Rhodes gets a lot of hate. So I'm not gonna hate on it. But honestly this match was not necessary. And of course Cody Rhodes picked up the victory here. And all I'm gonna say is that the crowd was way off for this match. They were not into it. Sure at the end once Cody Rhodes picked up the victory. And he went towards the crowd. That part of the crowd was hyped up. But I kind of just don't know what they were trying to accomplish here. At this point, I just turned Cody Rhodes here like the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega because forcing the babyface kind of feels like Roman Reigns back in the days. We had Miro defeating Lance Archer as he put him to sleep. This was another solid match, although it did have a bit of an awkward ending with that submission. I just felt like that ending should have been a little bit longer in the sense that the referee should have kept checking on Lance Archer and Miro should have kept going with the whole a bit longer. Brie Baker defeated Sheeta and we got a brand new AEW Women's Champion. It was about time. I love Sheeta, but this change was obviously necessary. Brie Baker has definitely been the highlight of the women's division, so it was time to give her that title. The crowd was split 50 50 on this one. And and the crowd was alive for it. That in itself made this match second or third best of the night behind the main event and the tag team match. One of the biggest pop came for Darby Allen, who was of course a teaming up with Sting tonight. And they went on to defeat Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky. Sting actually looked pretty good. They obviously played it safe. He didn't took too many crazy spots, but he still had a good amount of offense in there. And that counter into the Scorpion drop at the end was pretty sick. Alongside Darby Allen, that next biggest pop of the night was definitely for Orange Cassidy, who was part of the co-main event, taking on Kenny Omega and Pac. Awesome triple threat match. It was action back and forth. And I just gotta say, man, Pac is such a smooth competitor in the ring and his chemistry with just anyone in there especially Kenny Omega it's honestly incredible I want to see Kenny Omega versus Pac in a two hour Iron Man match please Tony Khan just make it happen Orange Cassidy of course was also a massive highlight as I said the crowd was just eating it up he came so close to winning it there was a lot of near falls in this match and honestly that arena would have gone insane if he would have won the title we of course ended up having interferences including of Don Callis all of which led to Orange Cassidy getting screwed over and being the one to eat the pin against Kenny and then for the actual main event we got the stadium stampede matchup my quick thoughts on it is that I enjoyed it but I do feel like it ran a little bit too long I also enjoyed that last year's stampede a bit better compared to this one what I liked about the one from last year is that a lot of the time we got to see a lot of the competitors brawl it out within the same frame within the same section of the stadium this year they kind of just gave us a tag team match and three singles matches in different spots all of which was one match in itself the stadium stampede so because they kind of divide it in different sections like this and different type of matches going from the bar fight to the offices to catering, to the chair warehouse, and so on. It led to the match probably being a bit longer than a lot of people wanted it to. But nonetheless, it was still enjoyable, and I did like the end that they ended it with the crowd. Sammy Guevara with the 630 Santon, and to Sean Spear getting the victory for the inner circle. Another young talent getting that big spotlight tonight. So bravo to AEW for doing that, because, um, you know, we don't really see that too often. Now, 
nowadays. Anyways, guys, uh, that is what went down on AEW Double or Nothing. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Which one was your favorite match? And you guys already know to continue being up to date on all the latest AEW news, or rumors, uh, results, and of course, WWE news and rumors uh, coverage. Make sure to be subscribed uh, right here to our channel. If you like it, well, you know what to do. Like the video. And my voice is almost gone from screaming for the pay-per-view. So I'm going to go ahead and head out. I'll catch you on the next one. So stay savage.